going down guys so today I thought we would go shopping for computer parts we'll see what Facebook has to offer sometimes Facebook has some uh, crap and then sometimes it has some good stuff like right there that's not a bad deal 16 gigs of sticks let's see here 16 gigs of DDR4 at 2400 for 40 bucks uh, the guys in Merrillville which is, uh, that's a good little distance from where I'm at. Oh, I like that case. That case looks cool. Check that out. What does it come with? A, uh, let's see here. It's a CFI board light case two hot swappable HD bays. Blah, 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 blah. That's the same guy who's selling the RAM. That's actually kind of a cool looking case. It has like a, like an old school kind of futuristic feel. And it looks alright inside. I look, there's no RAM slots there. So I'm assuming the RAM that he's selling is also there. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and message this guy. Uh, maybe I can make a deal with him. Maybe I can buy the RAM and the computer. And ask him if he can meet me halfway or something like that. Uh, let's go into the computer stuff. Sometimes you have to be very specific with Marketplace and able for it to, to get exactly what you want. Um, we're going to search electronics here. And we're going to type in computer. See what we get. Uh, here's an I buy power. This is an older case. Oh my god, look at all the ketchup and mustard in that. Blech. What does that go to? Look, at the top there, he has a Molex control uh, zip tied to a, the side of the cage. And I'm not sure where it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Damn! This thing has six RAM channels on one side of the board. That is very interesting. This has to be an older, way older system. Way older. Let's see what the specification is. It's a Core i3. He's not telling you what type of Core i3 it is. So that makes me think it's probably a 4th or maybe a 5th gen. Uh, has 128 gigabytes. The liquid cool is gone with a fan instead. Oh, wait a minute. The liquid cooler cooled is gone with a fan instead. 12 gigs of RAM. Give me offers. Deals worst I can say is I'm not interested. Normal new condition without anything missing. The lowest is $1,000. So please don't treat me stupid. Well, dude, you're asking 350 bucks for a computer that's old as shit. Threads, handles, uptime, let's see, so it's been up for four hours since then, sockets, cores, so it's only a four core i7, 9550, oh my god, that is like first generation shit right here, this is way too old, it has 120 gig, it doesn't specify if it's an SD, let's see here, 128, 128 gigabyte, so it must be an SD, um, I'll still make deals. It's a great it's a great base for building a supercomputer. I'm interested in washer and dryer set, vehicles, dining tables, bookshelves, nightstands, antiques, gaming console, TVs, and more. I can meet at the Home Depot. Okay, so he's looking for 350 cash or he can trade it for you. Uh, what is that? Is that the cable? What does that go to? Wait a minute. Hold up here. I know he don't have one audio cable plugged into a graphics card and then the other video cable, oh yeah, he has a video cable plugged in the graphics card and then he has, looks like he has, I hope that's an HDM or a, a USB cable. Let's just say that's a USB cable. We'll go with that. So it comes with a Corsair water-cooled system, but it doesn't work. So instead what he did is he put this fan on top to blow air into it right that's just what I want honestly I don't know if this would be worth anything to me I mean I'm, I'm not going I'd give him 150 bucks for it 
And I'm not trying to insult him. I'm just letting him know that this is not worth $350, especially when the main component that I would want is that all-in-one cooler is dead. Like, that doesn't do me any good. He doesn't mention what type of graphics card in it is in it. It looks like he has two graphics cards in it. They look old as shit. Nah. This is... The most recent thing he has in it is an SSD. I mean, I might... I might tear the power supply out of it, but other than that, no way. Um, let's see what else. God, there's no parts, man. It's just all computers and shit. Like, where's the parts at? Oh, that looks familiar. See those fittings? That's the Alpha Cool. Uh, quick disconnect. See, oh, cool, right there. Boink. I got the same setup. Well, I don't have the same setup, but I have the same system. Okay, so this is. Look, this guy wants 230 for it. This is a little more reasonable. It's uh, it's a Core i5 4690K CPU MSI Z97 motherboard. Wow, that's really old. Z97, that's like 2008. It's running DDR3 i5 4690, so it's a fourth gen CPU. It's capable of 144 hertz performance. Base clock is 3.5, only with an overclock. A couple of times in conf in conjunction with an I/O to test performance. I never ran it over 60 degrees Celsius. 60 degrees Celsius? Holy shit! That's like 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Like 30 degrees. Celsius is like all is like 90 degrees Fahrenheit and he's talking about twice that much 60 degrees Celsius Wow that's really high in temperatures uh, looks like he has an EVGA something in there I can't tell the type of graphics card that's in it let's see here he doesn't mention it. He just says that it has AMD Crossfire support for multiple for multiple graphics cards. See, that's a problem. If you're not telling me what type of graphics card you have in it, that's an issue. It looks like from the little sticker on the side, it looks like it's a 970, which isn't a bad card for this error. I mean. I would actually, I would give them maybe 160 bucks, 180 bucks for the system, and truthfully, I would just plan on reusing that power supply, reusing the, the front radiator, maybe the hard drives in them, I don't know, if it's mechanical drives, I would just throw it in a box, like I do with them. The, the, the RAM I would keep for future projects, uh... I would keep the CPU and stuff with the motherboard for future projects. Well, he doesn't really offer much. That's actually a, pre, uh, a pretty motherboard. That blue and black scheme, that looks pretty cool. Too bad they don't make motherboards like that no more. Let's see here. What else we got? Computer stuff. All good. Oh, <laughs> Computer stuff. All good. Yeah, back in like the 1990s. Holy shit, look how old this stuff is. What the hell is that? All goes, 75 bucks. Dude. Dude. You have a system stand. That's junk. Wow, look at the graphics on the graphics card. That's how you know that the shit is super old when the graphics on the box of the graphics card looks like shit it looks like it was 49.99 and then you bought it for 32 bucks at a discounted rate it has a pci bus but it doesn't say which generation i'm assuming it's first i have no idea what the hell these things are or why i would buy it it's by 3m it says 3m all over them but i don't know what they are what are these I have no idea. That's just a box of junk. That's I'd give them ten dollars for it, and even then, I would I don't know I would do anything with it. Let's see what this is. Okay, this is a little bit nicer. 
This is, uh, let's see here. Uh, just finished this build. It's an i7-6700K on an Exus Maximus Hero motherboard with a Nautica air cooler. And he wants $950 for it. Has a 1080 in it. Let's see here. An i7-7700K, so it's a 7th gen with a 1080 Ti. Please don't lowball me. I don't think you can honestly build it for what I'm asking. Nine? What? You are out of your damn mind, bro. I can build that easily. Second of all, look at the power supply. See how the fan is on the inside of the of the case? That's wrong. For one, that should be facing downwards to get air to it. Okay, so that's wrong. Um, what else is wrong with it here? I don't see anything. The only thing that 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 I'm even hearing is that it has a Maximus motherboard, an i7, a 1080, and a Nautica CPU cooler. Okay, so let's just say the 1080 is um, 300 bucks. Okay, 1080, 300 bucks, an i7, 6700K, maybe 200. 250 bucks 300 bucks let's just say 300 so that's 600 dollars and then the maximum hero five six seven eight that's a hero eight board you could probably find that for around 100 bucks 150 bucks maybe 16 gigabytes see he doesn't mention the rest of it though like he's not talking about what type of hard drive it has in it uh, I'm assuming it runs Windows 10. Let's see here. It has a 750 watt power supply. Oh, there it is. 120 gig SSD with Windows 10 Pro built on it. Uh, and it comes with a 1 terabyte. It's a Zotac Amp Extreme 1080. Overclocked at 4.7. Okay. You know what? You can probably build it close to what he is asking for. And, six, it's, and since it's a 6th gen system, it's still relevant, but it's used. Okay, you, you got to keep that in mind. You're asking money for these parts, and you're asking almost full face value for the money of the parts. And dude, like, you can't do that. Yes, you have all this stuff in your case, but you cannot ask that kind of money for it. It's a used system. How do I know that you just didn't leave it on and let it run 24-7, seven days a week? You know what I mean? I know people that have done that crap before. They're like, oh, I never turn the computer off. I'm like, what? You have to turn the computer off, dude. You just can't leave it. That's insane. But I know people that have done that before. You can honestly build it for what I'm asking for. Very familiar with the market. Uh, I will not trade unless the computer opponents it may be able to use, but I already have a lot. Blah, 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 blah. All right, well. So it's in a cheap-ass thermal take case. That's a very standard cheap-ass thermal take case. Yeah, nothing, nothing very impressive. It's just... Standard case. Yeah. I do like the top part. That's kind of cool. The amp edition. Push the limit. That looks cool. Now this is funny. Because if you look at the way his fans are set up. He is bringing air in from the rear exhaust. And blowing it into the case toward the DVD drive. So if he built this. I would give you an amateur rating. Because you obviously think you know what you're doing, but you don't. Because I've already pointed out two or three mistakes right off bat. Like that right there. That power supply fan needs to be facing down. It don't need to be facing up. The only reason why it should be facing up is if there's no air intake underneath that power supply. Like if there's just a solid sheet of metal, then yeah, you have no choice but to put the fan in the upright. But considering that I can see... The grades, the little holes in the bottom of the case, tells me that you can flip it and face the fan down like it's supposed to be. 
So with that, and then on top of that, you have the fans on the Nautica cooler facing the wrong damn way. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it. Unigen Heaven Benchmark. A 5,000? That's, that's, that's okay. That's not like great. Let me know when you get a 7 or an 8,000, especially with a 1080. So with a, an i7 and a 1080, you're only hitting 5,800. I mean, that's, you should be well into the mid 6,000s with it. And then look, look at the drop between the maximum frames and the minimum frame count. Okay, it's 37 to 412 frames. That is one hell of a spike. And then his average frames per second is 233 frames. But it dipped that low to 37 frames. Uh, it has an i7-6700, blah, 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 NVIDIA GTX 1080, uh, Windows 10 64-bit. Uh, I suggest you upgrade to Ryzen. Well, I didn't really see too much in here, guys. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Make sure to subscribe and like. And hopefully we can find some more stuff to complain about. Here's a $50 motherboard for you. Refurbished. H4110E desktop system. It doesn't exactly... Oh, there you go. Part number right there. It doesn't give me the socket, though. That's the most important part. Uh, LGA775. I see the socket now. No thanks. That's old as balls. I'm out. Alright guys, appreciate y'all.